Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Pink Crafty World. Today I have a, a little project that I want to do with you guys and is uh, a card. We're going to create a card. And, um, I'm going to use the actually since I bought this yes day at Tuesday morning I wanted to use this kit and see you know how everything comes out so I have the cards here I have paper here I have the sentiments and butterflies and here is the different size of the cards and I'm thinking I would like to make a large one like maybe this side and um, all you need to grab is a, a card, a blank card, or you can actually create your own blank card with paper, uh, cardstock paper. Um, this measures six by six. So uh, easy, if you have a six by six uh, background paper, you can use it for this, it's not. Um, you can make it smaller too so here I have the papers that I want to use for this but I also have uh, flowers that I previously previously made uh, from the kit and I'm really done I'm not sure which one I think I'm gonna use the purple one is the cutest one and um, yeah but before I use this I want to trim this a little bit so let me grab my trimmer okay I have this trimmer here that my friend um, Gloria sent to me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this a little bit smaller but first I'm going to grab another piece of paper and I'm going to grab a purple color and I have this uh, cardstock paper and I'm going to cut it out six inches almost so yeah this is great. Let me trim a little bit of this end right here. All right. And then I'm going to trim Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was Baby J. She came to bring me um, a popsicle. Because she has popsicles, she has to give every one of us a popsicle. Let me trim it a little bit more. She is a doll. She's the most adorable thing in this house. I love her so much. She's the cutest. She is the cutest. Okay, let's see. Perfect. So this is what I want, cause I want, I would like that white background around the card and this is how I wanted it. So after I trim this, I'm going to give you the measurements. Um, ended up being, I'm not good at this, but five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So, yeah, so we have that. And uh, this one, I'm going to grab one of those scissors with the uh, designs on them. Let me see if I can show you. 
like this and I'm going to cut around this it's been such a long time since I used this that um, they probably won't won't work good but uh, it's doing the job guys <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go everywhere and we're gonna give this paper a little bit of the design so it won't be too boring and then I'm going to ink it and let's see let me see how this actually have to go yeah, I want less, I want to cut it more. Oops. So. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Let's cut it a little bit more. Here, there we go. Perfect, you guys see. And pretty much all of us have that. If you don't have that type of scissors, or or you don't have a die that can cut um, your paper on that shape, well, don't worry about it. You don't have to cut it, you can give it a, a straight cut and nothing will happen. Um, I'm going to grab my ink because I want to ink that. This here, this, this ink pad is old, oh my God. Um, it's from the Memories brand. And, um, it's old. <laughs> it's been with me, but I re-ink it and keep using it. So I'm going to actually oh no this is the green one I thought this was the purple one but actually it doesn't look bad so I'm going to continue to do it with this one I like it <laughs> I like the way it looks guys I see and I'm using um, I don't have too many dabbers I just have the one from uh, I don't know even know who who's this one from from that brand the mixed mixed media brand and um, but I don't uh, this is the only one I use these uh, makeup sponges and they work really good for me so I I know it's some stuff coming off, but it doesn't. That's that's okay. Um, that will be covered anyway. But let me move it just in case. I had to buy. I had to check on AliExpress see if they have the dabbers um, because. I would like to get me some, but I, no, I don't want to pay too much money for it. Or maybe I can grab a coupon one of these days and go to either Joanne's or uh, Michael's and use one of the coupons. I love the way it looks. With the purple i actually love 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 the way it looks see and that's what you can do you can distress your things a little bit not too much you don't have to do it a lot you know just a little bit and um
my cleaning rack that I use <laughs> already so now we have this and we have this piece here okay so now we're gonna glue this onto this There you go. And for me, I want to open it like this, I said. So I'm going to put this paper and I always just remove one part so I can make it like as even as I can. Right, and then I set that there and then I remove the rest of my tape so now I'm going to put this but to put this I'm going to put it on dimensionals because I want it to pop up a little so I'm going to use a bunch of actually I have this dimensional tape here that is much much better this is from the dollar tree guys so okay Let me make it uh -huh. so now we have this dimensional tape and always pay attention pay attention to uh the size of your pattern paper which way you want your card to open and which way our pot and paper are supposed to go and it's supposed to go like that so i'm going to add a little bit of the hot glue on this just because for more dimension and and in case i have to move it a little bit but I'm not so yeah so there we have that okay so now I have these flowers here from the I have this one I have to put uh, a piece in the middle hmm. like maybe a gem or something this one will be a good size so I'm going to put it there that of the glue and now I'm just gonna place this in there because this bring the statement like for you to use it um, but I use it to form the flower but I don't like to leave it just like that I don't I like to put like either a jam or something different on it so it looks cuter all right so there's one flower so this kit also brings um the leaves it has a bunch of leaves that you can play with them and here they are so with this kit you don't have to worry about um you know die cutting um I have to say the 
well is it set to you you know how you want your your card to look or if you can I don't know if they have I found this kit at Tuesday morning I know yesterday in the video I mentioned that uh, this kit probably something like they do every month and yes it's a I think it was a monthly subscription or something or once in a while they come out with a different type of uh, maybe a box I'm not sure I went to the website and I watched videos and I know they have different kits like this kit is from 2018 so I really don't know if they still have something like this but it's worth to try go go to the crafter companion maybe our website and you probably will able to find you know um that box there still or go to your tuesday morning and see uh which color of leaves will go i think this color is more muted i don't know hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to use this. And I also going to ink around these uh, leaves. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of them. Alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is with whatever I have here left, I'm going to ink around, do I see? much as I can it doesn't have to be perfect because this is already you know that's the die cut so but This is what I do. And I know um, some of you guys request me to uh, create a video using um, for um, a card making. So I'm not too good at card making guys. I don't think I am. Uh, but I can I try you know and this is what I'm doing today for you guys and I um, hope that you guys like and enjoy uh, this video and if you are just watching me uh, no 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 go grab your crafty items and come and craft with me uh, I know that you can uh, create something beautiful with me so let's go ahead and do it already oops i have some okay now i think i ink all of them yes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to glue my floral pieces this one first and i hope that i'm in frame guys if i'm not i totally apologize for it not my intention okay and i'm going to start building from here up because actually i want to put a flower there flower there maybe heighten I think this one will be too much but maybe I can grab another flowers from my stash oh yes to mute it down yeah See if I can find another little purple one. Yeah, here is. Yeah, we're gonna use those. The yellow one I didn't like too much. 
so let me just glue this for this swirly thing i need a uh, fine tip glue so i'm going to use wet glue for that Oh, maybe it's clogged now. There it goes. Ready? So I'm going to start putting my flowers in here. So I'm going to glue them with hot glue. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to glue that. some centers These are very economic too. Um, I get them sometimes at uh, uh, Michael's uh, and they are very inexpensive. And the good thing is that uh, you can create different, you know, type of flower uh, designs uh, because you can use different type of gems to embellish them. Right now I'm using that, but you know, I wanted to change it a little bit. And I'm going to use these black back pearls in color purple for the one. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I, don't, I don't burn but <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> that's why I'm ouchy 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 so I remove a little bit of the glue and I'm going to glue it there you guys see how that's looking 
Um, let me grab another one. A tiny um a tiny white one for this tiny purple one here. looking beautiful and I think I'm going to use maybe this one yeah right there in the corner Okay. And I'm going to use a pink flat top pearl, this size here. So, yeah. And this floral piece, I can getting here oh yes right in there that's where I'm gonna go with it already oh oh hey that I have to be quick Already, so let me remove all this spider webs from the glue. That's what I hate about hot glue. Okay, and now we can put those stairs. Okay, so the last thing we have here to do is to add our sentiment and um, because we probably want to send this to our friend we can say thinking of you so yeah i think i'm going to use the thinking of you I'm going to put that in the dimensionals and I wanted to use a butterfly one that is not too big this size okay to use so if you have uh, butterflies in your stash I recommend you to get you um get the butterfly put a butterfly if you're working with florals and because of this paper has butterflies on it i want to um use that and i'm going to use um, this dimensional from the dollar tree again okay let me remove that and i'm gonna put two one on top of the other so this part can go in here, but first, or in here, what do you guys think? No, I think I wanna put it in here, but I'm going to put a little bit of the hot glue, so it will be, uh, more sturdy already right in there how beautiful thinking of you and then the butterfly 
we can bend it a little bit and make it look like and I'm going to put a dimensional but when we're going to glue it we're going to angle it a little bit as is in um sorry my neighbors oh my god and you can hear everything clear here in this room because I'm in front of the house so you can hear all the yelling and if you guys hear any bad words I'm so sorry I'm so embarrassed about it and that's why I'm I don't know I think I made a mistake on moving up here because of that I didn't know that you can actually hear everything that's going on outside in this room and um, they have a mouth filthy mouth I'm sorry but I don't like to talk negative about anybody but it's true um yeah but you see I bent a little bit the butterfly and you see how this petal is like a little bit up I'm gonna rest it the butterfly in there and in the paper and it'll give me that look like if she is flying a little bit like and because I put her on dimensionals maybe you guys can see but I think this is a nice card to send it to a friend to let them know hey I'm thinking of you I hope you know everything is great you know just the thinking of you what I'm going to do now before I finish it's that I need something else that we need on this and it's a little bit more of the sparkly thing so I'm going to grab my um I grab stickles and I grab liquid pearls because I need that I need the touch of the you know but I don't know which ones maybe for the maybe you can put some in the swirly parts of the leaf yeah this one is coming no good so I'm just gonna go with the green Uh, to the swirly parts of the leaves just that not directly to the leaves because then then it will be too much but at least it will this will be cute see and maybe down here to this one Okay, so a little bit of the shiny green on that. And then I grab um, the crystal and the stardust. Uh, oh my God, I love both. But I'm gonna go with the crystals today. And I'm going to put some of these on the flowers. Um, I'm almost out of these. I use them so much, you see? Oh my God, let me, let me check them, see if, I know I have, I still have some, but I think it's like all clogged in here probably. Okay. So, I'm going to put a little bit on the pink flower, or a lot, just to make this flower to look Beautiful. And look how pretty that looks. Guys, and if you if you don't have the stickles, okay, but you have fine glitter at home before you do um uh, glue the flowers into the card um put glue on your flower on the petals of your flower 
you can put a clear glue and i have um, one here that is very inexpensive from the dollar tree it's this one here it's clear gel uh, glue and um you can then sparkle some um glitter uh the dust glitter i don't recommend using like the chunkier one but at least the um the dust glitter will look beautiful. I do that before, and I send embellishment to people that they absolutely love, and they be like crazy asking me, Maria, how you achieve this? It's so glittery and so sparkly and so beautiful. And that's all what I do, you know? I just put um, clear adhesive, and um, then I sparkle it with um glitter do, uh, glitter dust and you can find the glitter dust at walmart also anywhere you know so <laughs> yeah so that's my pink flowers all cover mm, i don't know if i want to to do to the other ones i'm not sure uh, well maybe we can do it to the purple one a little bit but i want to use it i don't know how we how we will continue use this one here I'm applying it and I kind of rub it with the same um, tip of the bottle, you know. <laughs> and I think I'm too close to the camera but that way you guys can see what I'm doing better and I can see too because every time I come up here I forgot my glasses so my glasses are downstairs of course so yeah you guys see how beautiful that looks that looks gorgeous 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 and this is a beautiful car to a sending friend mail, to send to your best friend, um, to your best crafty friend, you know, to your mom, to your aunt, uncle, anybody that you are thinking of, that you wanna know how they're doing, that's what you can do. Now, I have a huge decision here to make because I have all these liquid pearls and they all kind of match somehow, um, especially the green one and the gold. But we're gonna go with the green one. And, okay, what I do is, okay, I test it out before because sometimes they have air on it and we can put, Already, okay. I'm going to put some over here. 
and if you don't have this but you have sequins you can put the glue sequins down and it will look very very nice I think I'm going to do one there. One over here. And one over here. That one looks a little bit funky, but ah, it's okay. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful piece, like I said, to send to anybody, any friend, any any family member, anybody that you actually love and care, <laughs> you can send this. And I hope you love and care everybody, you know, because that's what we are supposed to do. We are supposed to love and care for each other and, you know, be happy and be blessed that we have people around us be happy even to the people that make you upset uh, because everything happens for a reason so but going back to the card um this is how the card look um you guys know that we're going to open this card like this um also you can stamp any sentiment um if you have any sentiments uh, let me check before i close the video see if i have any stamp that i will actually like to use for that this one here and i found this here it says thanks for touching my life with your special friendship and since we are making this for a friend we are going to use that one and we're going to go in here oh perfect yes 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 all righty so we're going to try to stay like in the center and press it down and pray for the best yes it did come out really nice so so good and also it has a butterfly here um oops <laughs> yeah it has i like this bee and the rose and the butterflies because it kind of give me some uh, maggie home vibe that's why i somebody gave this to me so and i was like so happy so i'm going to use this Oops. Ay, no puede ser. Okay. Nothing happened. Thank God. I didn't mess up my card. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to use another color. Where's the. Maybe I can use. I'm going to use the green, the green one, and I'm going to stamp a green butterfly in this. There you go, right there. See? So, that's it, guys. That concludes our card making. I'm sorry about the stroll here and uh but everything looks very very beautiful i'm so happy that um 
this project came out nice i hope that you guys like it and enjoy as much as i do and i'm sorry if i'm repeating myself too much because i think i said that already but it's actually a beautiful card i think uh, i did a great job and i know you guys are going to create one and do a great job also so um again thank you so much uh for watching and thanks for touching my life with your special friendship to all of you i hope you guys are having a wonderful evening and i hope to see you in the next video if you are watching and you're not subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel also leave me a comment down below and give me a like um for this beautiful creation and mary this video is dedicated to you mary salvedo um she was a person who actually one of the person who actually asked me if i can make like a card for a friend and i did came out with this and i hope that you like it and enjoy the process and get some inspiration from it i will see you guys then in the next video bye bye now